Today, I'm going to uh, tell you how to manifest all your desires. You know, you may you may want a nice home, several homes. Uh, I'm going to manifest a number of, of beautiful homes, and uh, you may want to manifest a beautiful car. <clears throat> you you may <clears throat> whether that's uh, Lincoln, Cadillac, Rolls Royce, Jaguar, some type of sports car, whatever it is. Uh, you may uh, want to manifest a good career. You know, you may want to get through medical school. You may want to get into politics. You may want to to uh, have a career in movies. Whatever it is, you 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 want to manifest those those desires. So that to become more than just desires, they actually become uh, uh, something that is that that actually takes place and that you can actually enjoy in your life. And uh, so I want you to grab a, a, a notebook. Or a piece of paper or a journal and write down there's uh, six letters the first three letters is COE and the last three letters is zero zero uh, is not zero zero but the last three letters is O O O the letters from the alphabet O O O okay uh, the COE is coexistence that means we're coexistent with its infinite mind and infinite mind the last three the other three zeros or what infinite mind is. Uh, infinite mind is I'm not omnipotent, I'm not present, and omniscient. The infinite mind and infinite spirit and God is in all places, is all powerful, and is all knowing. So that when we realize that infinite mind is within us, even the Bible said the entire kingdom of God is within us. And Jesus said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, and I am in you, and you and me. And we're all in, all of us are, are in, all of my Father and myself are in you. And the, the entire kingdom of God, infinite mind, is within you. So we access that all by looking and opening those doors up to our mind and our heart and uh, realizing that we have access to infinite mind, to an infinite mind which is all present, all powerful, and all knowing. So then uh, in view of that, now that we have uh, established where we are coming from, and what we are drawing from, because we have to know where we're drawing these desires from. We have to know where we are drawing this manifestation from uh, to achieve. Uh, we're drawing the nice home, the nice car, the nice career, the productive career, the uh, satisfying, enjoyable career. We have to know where that we are drawing that from. We're drawing on infinite mind, which is within us to give us the ideas to accomplish that. And then once we have the ideas to accomplish it, we're drawing on infinite mind to give us the energy and the enthusiasm to accomplish it. But all that is within us because infinite mind is there with all of that. Infinite mind contains all of that. That's why it's infinite. Infinite means it contains all happiness, all joy, all peace, all energy, all enthusiasm, all romantic ecstasy. It contains all aesthetic enjoyments that we can ever think of. It contains everything which we could desire because if it was something that we we desired that was not with it then it's a good thing which is not in infinite mind then then god would be less than god so in view of all of that i have five steps which i want you to work on and it won't take you long to begin to uh, manifest some things if, if you really follow these steps step one Become more aware, and that's what I've just been 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 getting you to do. Become more aware of what is available. Step one is become more aware of what is available. And uh, so, uh, if we're going to really, I mean, a lot of times I think people approach this manifestation. You know, you hear people. I guess there's probably a hundred channels on uh, on YouTube that talk about how to manifest your desires, or how to manifest. Some of them just say how to manifest. But I think what people do is they begin to just look at uh, what they're doing is they're just looking at 
that object that they're desiring and that object that they're wanting to manifest and they're not becoming aware of what all is available. And they're not really aware that even that is available. They're just somehow thinking that uh, somehow they will be able to manifest that, whereas maybe somebody else wouldn't because it's not that available, but maybe they'll find out a secret where they will be able to manifest it themselves, despite the fact no one else may be able to. But this is not the way it works. Uh, we need to become aware of what all is available to everyone. What is available to us is available to everyone. And we need to become aware of that. It's not some uh, secret society or some secret saying or secret formula or secret way of dealing with things that is going to gain us uh, what we desire and give us the career that we need. It's by knowing what is actually available and knowing that that career is actually available, knowing that a uh, beautiful car and beautiful house and all that is available. All you have to do is look around and you see it's available, but, but also that it is available to you because all of infinite mind is accessible to you. Okay. And then number two is we need to develop a greater interest in all aspects of what is available. In other words, we may uh, know that a uh, beautiful houses are available or beautiful cars are available but do we know uh, everything about how the people went about getting those houses and those cars do we know uh, everything there is about that house have we studied the details of how the house was built for just one thing and maybe uh, how that uh, the person, what the thinking was in the mind of the person that built it and why they built it, what their dreams were, what their goals were. Uh, we need to, to stop and, and consider the career, like a, for instance, our career that we're going to go into. Do we understand why people go into that career? Do we understand uh, what that career will do for other people? Uh, and are we willing to pay the price? If we're given the opportunity to go into that career, are we willing to pay uh, the price of uh, being the best that there is uh, in that career, of doing our best and of serving people the best that we can? If you're going to be a doctor, for instance, you don't want to just uh, say, I want to manifest that MD uh, license or I want to manifest uh, the money that uh, some doctors make, but you want to say, uh, I want, you want to understand everything there is to know about that desire. You want to know, uh, you want to be able to say that I'm going to use that MD license and I'm going to use uh, whatever I gain out of it, the studying of medicine, I'm going to use that to benefit the most people possible. I'm going in it into it to benefit people. And the MD license is just a side issue. It's just something that I need to uh, satisfy the uh, requirements. But my whole goal and ideal is, we. Get, in other words, what I'm saying is get your goal and your ideal correct and that will help you to manifest it. If you know exactly why you're going into it and you say, I'm willing to pay any price to get it, and I'm willing to uh, go through uh, a lot of things which try my patience in order to do that. And I'm going to be willing to spend myself and my energy in helping other people. That's why I'm doing it. And then you will begin to get the ideas that you need in order to manifest that. Okay. Now the third step is... And I can see that this is going to take several steps to explain this because uh, there's, a, there's a lot to it. I mean, it's not just a matter of, you see people coming on here with just two or three minutes and they're telling, trying to tell you how to manifest in just two or three minutes. And uh, you, you should know already that that's not going to really work out. You know, it may be the truths that they're saying are correct, but uh, th that's not going to really uh, help anybody by just doing it for two or three minutes. But the n number step three is... Uh, we need to uh, then begin to 
get down with our journal and our notebook and, and write out positive affirmations about what it is that we want to do and what it is we want to have and, and then go over those affirmations every day. I want a uh, beautiful house. Uh, I want it to have so many bedrooms, so many bathrooms. I want it to look a certain way and be in a certain place and be in a good location and, and go into detail about those things. And then every day go in and make a positive affirmation that I uh, know that infinite mind is going to supply me with the ideas to get that particular house, which I've described in my journal. And every time I get another idea about it, I'm going to write it down. And every time I, uh, God gives me an idea about it, I'm going to thank him for giving me that new idea about it. And then I'm going to <clears throat> study houses that are like that. I'm going to draw up blueprints of houses like that. I'm going to go over the all the details of it and uh, what goes into, into uh, building it. And it could even be that God would give you the idea of idea, creative ideas as to how uh, to participate in building that house yourself. You know, you may be able to save money by getting in, doing a lot of the work your, yourself. Uh, and uh, because all of those ideas will come from infinite mind. That's one way of manifesting. The other way could be that God will give you ideas about how to make uh, a lot of money that you can use to pay other people, which need the job. Uh, people need the job of building houses. Uh, uh, the architects need the, the job of, of, of uh, and you need to be concerned about all these folks. That be concerned about the architects that need the job of drawing up the blueprints and making, uh, uh, designing the house. Uh, Everything that goes into the house uh, uh, is uh, hiring people. And be concerned about that and be glad you're able to participate in that. All of these things go into everything like this you can do will help in your manifesting your, your desire. Uh, and then number four is we need to gain a, uh, a, a whole lot higher enthusiasm. And we need, need to begin to ask God every day, how can I gain more enthusiastic about the career uh how can i gain the ideas that will make me more enthusiastic about the career that i want to go into how can i gain the ideas that will increase my enthusiasm and how can i generally develop more enthusiasm and write these things down in your journal and begin to uh let that enthusiasm well up in your uh in your mind let it become a romantic enchanting enthusiasm I, I use a I, I use a symbol where I put down the Greek uh, letter Omega, which is like a W. I write that down and then I use uh, three S's after it, and then I put a uh, a symbol, another symbol, the symbol for immortality. The symbol of immortality that I use is uh, a uh, upside down U with a dot in it. Now, that's a symbol of immortality. And so I put down there, SSS, super, super, super immortality. Uh, I, that means that that reminds me to be aware of all the super, super, super power and energy that is in uh, immortality, which is flowing in myself uh, through uh, coming to, as Jesus said, coming to the fountain of life, which uh, in John seven thirty eight says, he that cometh unto me, meaning, the, meaning that infinite mind, which is within us, he that cometh unto me, out of his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. So then I, that reminds me that all of that super, super immortality is flowing out of me. And so then I gain a greater and greater enthusiasm by doing that. And then I, uh, I develop, uh, um, I put a the symbol for multiple, multiplying, a parenthesis around that, and I, I put a large figure in that. Like I'm going to, First, get the enthusiasm, and then I'm going to multiply it millions and millions and millions of times. And, and we know that we can do that because you cannot out multiply God when it comes to enthusiasm. You can't out give God. We've heard that. You can't out love God, but you also can't out. You can't be more enthusiastic than God is. You can't have more joy, more rom romantic joy, or anything than God has. And so we know that th that is there for us to draw upon. And we know that joy is, the Bible even says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We know that the joy of the Lord will give us the energy to do all things. And so by drawing upon that, we know that the energy is there. Because we know, for one thing, that I'm going to have to cut it off now. <clears throat> 